my beautiful friends, and welcome to a new video. For today's episode of whatever I'm uploading on this channel, uh, we are going to do a town tour. This town is something I've worked on for quite some time now. You're going to see a lot of weird stuff, like that bamboo in the back growing out of the water, and uh, some very special things that I have done to make my town something that I enjoy. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it and show you guys around. Um, I guess we can start by going inside the home. So you guys can see what my daily life is like here in Patay Town. So, this first room here, I like to leave the TV on um, because I like the sounds that it makes. But this is my living room. I have a bunch of these little zodiac creatures here. They represent all the different zodiac. I think that mine is the horse over here, based on my birth date. Do you guys know which one you are? You can see if you can find it. There's a horse. Um, that looks like a dragon. Chicken. A whole bunch of them over here. Um, you get these during a specific festival, which is really cool. I'm going to take you to the left. This room is something I tried to be a little bit creative. <laughs> so everyone knows, or at least a lot of you guys know, that I am obsessed with horror. So I decided to make a room full of creepy and spooky haunted things. Mm. Mm. I love these little guys, the Darumas, what they're called. Got a frog, skeleton. I think this is from the Day of the Dead. We've got this guy. <laughs> He's from Monster Hunter, but he still looks kind of creepy. This from Zelda. Want to hear a secret? <gasps> Ooh. I have a spooky doll, which I like. I like to pretend it's haunted, just like Annabelle. We've got a tomb. This guy. This thing. Ooh, it's so spooky. <laughs> this peas. So, uh demonetization right there and of course the Medora's mask moon and I have these scary things on the wall um, up there as well the different Oni masks Ooh. so this is my scary room which I love the kitties aren't exactly scary but I like to pretend that they're haunted plus the sound they make is kind of like listless is that the right word and I think that's just a shogi piece that's not it's not scary he is scary because he has giant testicles right down there. You can kind of see them. More demonetization. <laughs> so that's my spooky haunted room. And the other two rooms downstairs are pretty plain in comparison. This one back here is the bathroom slash sauna area, which I wish I had in real life and I totally don't. We've got this big, beautiful bathtub, which I would love to be in. Um, there's a shower if you want to use that. We have lots of different things here. Beauty items, these little stools. There's a toilet. And there's a sink. And then this is where you can get some snacks. We've got some ice cream and other stuff. There's a table that you can sit at. And we've got this little water feature here, which is really pretty. I like to think that there's like koi or goldfish in there. Um, I'm not sure how many can fit because it's pretty small, but in my mind, there's some, there's some fishies in there. So, my next room is inspired by watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay shows, uh, on YouTube. There's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of those, uh, hotel hell and, and restaurant fix-up shows. Um, so I made a kitchen, which, um, I really like. I like because a lot of the utilities are things that you can actually run, the items. You can turn that on, turn on the microwave, the hot pot, rice cooker, blender, which is really cool. A refrigerator, there's a deep freezer where you can put all your snacks, a toaster, which is really nice. And then there's all different kinds of food here. I've got milk and I've got lawn lawn milk as well from Zelda and pickles and then there's a basket of bread oh let me not leave my uh leave that open 
but it's okay. I'll just, I'll leave the stove on because that just seems like a really great decision to make. So the next two rooms are, um, you can probably guess what they are. The one up to the north, to the tippy top of the house is going to be my bedroom. And for this one, I decided to go with the princess set because it is beautiful, as well as mixing in a couple other things. I have a, um, a doll here. <laughs> who's sitting in my vanity because she's doing her own makeup. She's a haunted doll, and this is where she lives. She comes out of her case all the time and walks around my house. That's the story. I have a globe so I can plan uh, places that I would like to go. Hopefully at some point there's a Triforce. Ooh, beautiful. We have a lamp, which I can turn on and off. And I have a pet bird up here. And I have the lamp, which you can use with the amiibos and wisp. And this little game chest. Um, it can be changed to white as the color or like a beigeish white. I just haven't done it yet. But I want to. This way it'll kind of not, not stick out so much. But I like the theme with the rainbows of the lamp and, uh, and the other lamp. Oh wow, does the word lamp describe both of those items? It does. That's kind of funny. But they're two completely different objects. English is weird. It's a weird language. <laughs> so uh, now we're going to go downstairs. And this is where the magic happens. Kind of, but not really. This is my YouTube office and how I imagine it would look in Animal Crossing. So I have a very fancy chair right here, my editor's chair. Here is my desk with dual monitors as well as a microphone. I have a light. And that's where I sort of storyboard ideas for videos. And I have a lot of games and amiibo. I don't in real life in my office at all. My office is just my bedroom. Uh, but I went with this. I went with the dungeon theme too. So it's a little spooky. There's some lights up there. I have a uh, DSi bench right here. And then a Zelda poster right behind it. And then when I'm bored and I need some time off, I have a crane machine. Is it gonna get it? Can I get the plushie? <gasps> oh no. I think it's backwards. Guys, I think my crane machine is backwards. The controls are on the other side. Oops, let's just pretend we didn't see that. And I have this area over here where I can do my makeup before I stream, which is very important. This is the, uh, the desert island uh, furniture set over here. And I also like to do painting very, very much. So I have that right there. I recently got a new set of acrylic brushes that I'm very excited for. I'm not a super good painter, but I like to do it. And I do have these set up so I can play the games, Animal Crossing Puzzle League, and then this is the Desert Island mini game. Desert Island Escape. Ooh, I have an older video on my channel of us doing Desert Island, I believe, if you're interested in seeing that. It is quite old though, so, uh, there we go. And that is my house right now. I hope you guys like it. It's um, not super creative, but it makes me happy. I like how organized everything is. So next up, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my town. I go with a lot of the exterior Zen items. I really like those in the look. I originally wanted to do a Lord of the Rings themed town and then ended up switching to something that was I don't know, a little different, I think. So we have a cafe down here where we can go to get some delicious coffee if we'd like. <gasps> There's my little kitty friend from Monster Hunter. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, we're gonna get some coffee. I recently opened this cafe. It has not been here for a very long time. And I love it. I love Brewster. I believe Brewster's name in the Japanese version, or at least the Japanese anime uh, movie was Master, I think. I think it was Master. At least that's what the character called him in Japanese. Yeah. Whoa. A happy moment enveloped in the scent of coffee. Beautiful. Da -da -da. Thank you. I really like this dress, by the way. It's a butterfly pattern. I think it's really pretty. Hello. 
likes a lot of milk in their coffee. He is so cute, isn't he? I went through all of the amiibo um, villagers to see what they all looked like and put them in my town and I could not get rid of him because he's so precious. So he is staying permanently. Or at least I hope he does. He's so cute. All right. Oh, another cool thing. So there's a gyroid outside of um, the cafe where Brewster is. And there are Brewster designed gyroids that you guys will get to see. I have a gyroid collection. Oh, so this is the windmill. And I decided to do a field of roses, kind of like they have um, windmills and fields of tulips. Um, is it Belgium? Do I have that right? Apologies if I don't. Um, but I remember seeing fields of tulips online and I kind of wanted to copy that theme. Marshall, there's my baby. How you doing? I made I made him say I D G A. <laughs> so there's a little um, pond over here, which I think is lovely. Then we can go down this way and over here. Da, 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 da. I love all the greenery. You can see a bamboo forest I have forming. I really, really like bamboo so much so that I put it in the water over there. I know it's not necessarily supposed to be, just like that flower and those mushrooms aren't supposed to be on that hill, but I put it there because I really like it. <laughs> I like this pathway too, um, and I think it's really pretty. So let's go down here and I'll show you guys to my beach. The beach is pretty simple. There are lots of yellow flowers as well as banana trees. I did put a lighthouse here because I think it's very important that the boat at the dock does not run ashore. So I gave them the lighthouse. And then there's a hammock if you want to relax on the beach, get some sun, which is really nice. Lots of fish, more bananas. I have one of the uh, these heads here on the beach facing the ocean. So he gets to have a pretty nice and peaceful life. Um, you can also come sit here by the tiki torch. There we go. Beautiful. Very relaxing. And then you can go up here and you can see all of the bamboo that's in the ocean for some reason. I don't know why, but I can have just wanted to do that. And I think it looks kind of cool, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've always uh, liked the whole putting plants in water aesthetic. I always wish it was actually a part of the game because of how it looks. I've spent so long looking at um, videos and photos on you know Instagram and Google of people's towns. There are so many beautiful towns out there. It is incredible. People are so creative, even when they do things that you normally don't do with the game's assets. So we are... I think I'll go ahead and go up this way and show you guys around here. Oh, Sahara's here. There is a little um, area with some flowers here. More bamboo. There is this, it's my little Zen garden. She's going around selling carpets to everybody. There's some more bamboo. And if you see some like dead trees and holes in the ground, I like to leave those things because I try and make it look a little more natural out here, like all these mushrooms and stuff. I like to put these here, just like these dead trees and this area right here. The mysterious spot, ooh. I wonder, I wonder what's going on with that mysterious spot. I guess we'll never know. And all these beautiful flowers and bushes. This is my bus stop. I figure people can come and wait here or use this to arrive if they want to go to the campsite. And my campsite looks the same as probably your campsite or anyone else's does. With this little guy. Got some visitors here. <gasps> Ooh, which one is this? I forget who this is. Which one did I prepare? It is <gasps> Celeste. There we go. Hello. She is so cute. The stuff that she wears is adorable. I love it so much. I love her with all my heart. Oh, she's so cute. I love you. I love you. Oh, this is something I learned as well. A lot of you probably know, but... <laughs> you 
can do that and they get kind of freaked out by it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you, Celeste. It was good to see you. She's so cute. All right, cool. Let us continue the tour by going north and I will show you more of the things that I have created for this village. And why am I talking funny? It's like one in the morning when I'm recording this. I don't know. Um, here are all of my fruit trees. Very basic, um, not the perfect trees, but I like them. Up here, there is um, a little bell. Gong. And then this thing, it's like a worry stone. I'm not 100% sure what it's meant to be or what it represents, whether it's a part of Japanese culture or another culture, but I did think it was very lovely looking. So I put it here uh, by this in a nice little area, very peaceful area. And I do have a pathway that goes around here. So you can walk past all of the bamboo if you wish, just like that. Beautiful. Oh, there's a passing train. <gasps> da -da -da. And then here's where you will find the police station. There is not really any crime in Pate Town, but just in case there was, I like, oh, somebody put a mushroom in the lost and found. Why did you let someone? They're all outside. What are you doing? I think he's drunk. They put a mushroom in the lost and found. <laughs> he's so cute. I love him so much. And this right here is my flag. There's actually a really great website that um, you can create QR codes from. So if anyone's interested, I'll leave a link for that down below. I don't have any affiliation with that website, um, but it does like let you make QR codes from designs that you can upload. So this one is my potato prince from my Twitch streams. So he is our flag. And he looks beautiful. Hi! This is a villager I like just got. Tasha. Tasha's tail is so cute. Look at it. It's so bushy. Look at her tail. Oh my god. I love it so much. Oh, let me show you how these houses are arranged. This I'm pretty proud of right here. One here and then in the middle. You can sit on this little bench. And this bamboo grove. I think it's really lovely. Very relaxing between the two homes. All right. And then you go over here and it's not super exciting. There's a giant tree. It's huge. Nice, nice tree shadows. You can sit under it. And you can take pictures. It's so peaceful. <laughs> And then you can go this way and go down here to get to the other beach. I like that little archway there. This beach isn't as fancy as the other one. It's more, more simple. There is a little picnic area and you go further down and there is a nice big bonfire if you want to enjoy stuff there. And even further down is the return to our great bamboo in the ocean. Lovely, lovely. I never spend a ton of time on the beach, but I do like it to look kind of fun and happy with public works that really shouldn't be there, but I like them there, so it's okay. So we go further down and we get closer to my home, and this is just where some other animals' homes are. Which one is this? It's a Pona! You guys want to go see a Pona? Apona was another one that I kept from the amiibo that you can get, um, that you scan. Because look, look at Apona. She's the cutest thing in the world. Her little, her little face. She's like a hyper-realistic horse, but not really. She's so cute. And her little house just looks like a shed. Like a farm with a trough and a hay bed. And she has the same water thing that we have in our sauna and the same milk that we have. I really like her home. All right, so the town tour is sort of complete as far as seeing how my town looks. I'll take you all the way north and then um, for those of you who are interested, we'll just take a little walk down the street up north. A lot of you guys probably know what it already looks like. Um, I have most of the things unlocked. I do not have the fortune teller shop though. 
I never managed to get that, although I'm working towards it. It just takes forever. There's some nice little lamps here, which look really nice. I need to put a flower right here and right here. Very unprofessional foosh. Leave an empty spot. So, let's see here. Da -da. Hi there. What a cutie. So she is one of the special villagers that you can get when you scan the cards. And she is, I forget, I forget which set that she is from. It's one of the Sanrio, I think. Are you from the Sanrio collection? She's so cute. She looks like Sanrio. Very adorable. There are so many villagers, it's hard to keep track of everybody and all of the things that they do. Wow, everyone's shopping today. The square is full of people. But this is my museum, and it does have a complete collection, so we do have everything. All of the paintings and fossils and all that good stuff. It looks really nice once it's put together. Like, here's all of the art. Fine painting. I love that it actually talks about the paintings. It reminds me of that game Eve, but not as scary as Eve was. It's very beautiful. I love it. It's been a while since I've been to an art museum. A long, long time, actually. I haven't really thought about that. I think it'd be nice to go to another country and go to art museums there. Maybe somewhere in Europe or something in like 10 years. <laughs> a long time. So these are... Oh, Wisp! Oh, he's here because I put Celeste in the in the RV park. I was confused. I've never been up here when I had a villager there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's really cute. So I have these Triforces here. I didn't make this. It's a pattern that I got online. Um, but unrelated to the Triforce, all of these rooms are filled with Diroids. All the different collections. Because there are so many. There are so many gyroids. They took up every single museum room. And I wanted room to be able to walk around. And I can kind of walk around. I made rows. As neat as I possibly could. But then I ran out of space and I just kind of stuffed some uh, towards the bottom. There are the Brewster ones. See? They are magnificent. I kind of want to take these out and put them in my house somewhere. So many, so many gyroids. These are scary looking, the ones right in front of me with those faces there. I love those things. They're ridiculous. You know, they're actually based on Haniwa, which are these sort of grave uh, sculptures or clay things that are put in the tombs of those who pass away in old, old Japan. It's really interesting to read about. So it always made me wonder why they were buried in the ground in Animal Crossing, because it's very, it's a very spooky precedent when you dig up things that are normally included in graves in a town, which possibly could be on a giant graveyard or something creepy like that. At least that's what it sounds like. That's a, oh, these ones have the human faces. Look at that. The ones in front of me. Those are scary. I still think my favorite are the Brewster ones. Do you guys have a favorite, uh, favorite one of those little guys? I'm always curious. What do you do with yours? Do you collect them all or do you just sell them? Because you can't buy them back once they go. I've always wondered what other people do. Whether it's weird of me to, to save them all up or not. So, um, we have one more place I could show you. Most of you have probably already seen, but let's go to the Emporium. It's big and it's beautiful and I actually just got it a couple days ago, so it's been a minute. So, we have a shopping area over here. It's several stories. It's just like Goldenrod, which is really nice. Hi, Fang. Fang is so cute. I don't know if I like Fang or Whitney better. Whitney's really popular, though. 
Here's the catalog. And then you can go all the way up the stairs. And then I think this is where they have wallpapers and stuff. Welcome, the second floor. Yes. Ooh, that would this would look nice in my kitchen. Maybe I should get that table instead of the one that I have. I could put this in my bathroom and be really creepy about it. We go up the stairs and then we get to Gracie's floor. There we go. Hello there, little ninja. Lovely. All her stuff is either really nice looking, like the princess stuff, or really crazy looking style. Not necessarily something I would really like to wear, um, but I support her in her fashion. I support it. I like her display tables, because I do use those. The, uh, the fancy display tables in my uh, living room, which is really nice. So let's hop back out and head towards my home. Ma -na 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 -na. Uh, there we go. Da 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 da. Scoozy, scoozy. Thank you for visiting. Much appreciated. All right. Let us head back. The rest of this is stuff that you guys very well know. Actually, I wish I could put bamboo in that water, but I don't think that I can. I need to stop with my bamboo obsession. I just, I really like it. I wish I didn't reproduce with so many seeds underground that look like cracks, but you know, it's okay. It's a thing. It's a thing. So, I'm gonna go back down and take a leisurely walk to the south towards my house. Um, so yeah, this, this is my town. Um, I've, I've spent a long time on it and I'm kind of proud of it. I know it's not perfect and there's a lot of parts of it that could definitely use more work. A lot of empty spots that are missing flowers that I need or um, things that might look a little silly where they're placed, but honestly, I'm, I'm really proud of it. And I am looking forward to developing whatever my island is going to look like in Horizons. We have a long time before Horizons comes out, and there is a lot to keep us preoccupied. I know I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders like crazy, and I'm really excited for Fire Emblem. And if you're going to say you're going to move, I'm not going to let you. Wait. Oh, she's asking about my hair. Um, she wants to know how long I'm going to go really long with my hair next time. How long are we talking? To your shoulders or your waist? You can't mean the floor. You think you're a princess in a tower waiting to be rescued? You'll look great with long hair. I'm just jealous. Oh, I thought she was going to try and move. I was so scared. You're not allowed to move. You're here forever. Because you're so cute. Um, but yes. This is, this is my town. And I love my town. And it makes me incredibly happy. If any of you guys have towns that are incredibly designed, like you, you hardcore go with the architecture and flowers and stuff, I would love some dream town addresses. If any of you guys still play and you have a really nice town, I'd be more than willing to, to pop in some dream addresses and go take a look on my own time. If you think you can inspire me to make some changes to my own town here, um, I would love that very, very, very much. I um, had a great time showing you guys around. I hope that this was interesting in some way, shape, or form and um, inspired you. I'd like to know what, what you liked about it, if there was anything you liked about it, um, and maybe tell me about your town and the different things that you've done and what you like and if I share any similarities, because I am very, very curious. And I will have another video for you guys next week. This one has a lot more work involved, which is why this one is incredibly simple and, um, and not as fancy as the ones I've been doing. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you are at all inclined. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.